I believe there is. Um, over the last, really since the end of the Cold War, over the last two decades, um, the military, the armed forces have been in the public eye in a way that perhaps they were not before, with the perhaps notable exception of the Falklands War. But that was only a matter of a few months. Um, uh, I think the casualties inevitably brings it home to people um, that there is a cost, not only in treasure, but in blood. Uh, and um, I think the armed forces are as much in the public eye as they have been in my lifetime. Um, now, it is absolutely fair to say not all approve of military operations in Afghanistan, as they did not approve all of them of operation, military operations in Iraq. But I, th I think the British public are perfectly mature in their thinking to split out, and one sees that people do this, split out a, a government decision with which they may have some, some concern, and those whose constitutional duty it is to put that decision into implementation. Uh, yes, I do. I mean, interestingly, uh, as I look at the last YouGov poll of last week in terms of the issues uh, surrounding uh, ele the election, there are the obvious ones right at the top of the list, like immigration, like health, like education. And you have to go to number nine before you find anything to do with defence. But it's not defence as such. It's the war. In other words, there is still, I think, this what would I say, political cynicism about the motives of government since the 2003 Iraq war. And it's very much about the war, and I see that as interpreting the, uh, the lot of British services in terms of their equipment, the risks they're facing, as well as the uh, political underpinning of why we are there. But as defence as a whole, I still think the, uh, this country tends to take it as a given. I think uh, there is a public appetite for defence in the United Kingdom. It's part of our historic and cultural tradition. I think uh, we're very proud of our armed forces. We're rightly proud of our armed forces. Uh, but of course, they have to be involved in objectives uh, that fit that culture. Um, at the end of the day, uh, you cannot be involved in conflict simply uh, because uh, it suits a political purpose or indeed some sort of thing that is unrelated to the, the country's uh, main effort in life. And when it comes to